Welcome to this tutorial. It's a quick tutorial to show you how to bring in a WCADI file or VCADI file into Model Maker and make it live and usable for your future designs using Model Maker irrigation. Now we will have to create a DXF file in WCADI or VCADI first. Uh, I'm just going to call it WCADI, that's how I know it. Uh, but first in WCADI you will draw a line 100 meters long from north-south and then you will record the coordinates of the two points in the line. I've already prepared that file so I will just import the DXF file using DXF Model Maker. This is the setting you, you would use just using CAD minus Y minus X and make sure it's set to meters. Now uh, the setting in WKD was such that a line was drawn around the whole drawing. When you bring it into Model Maker the scaling is very odd. It's actually very very small compared to true one-on-one -on -one scaling. Now in this case you can see a line around the whole drawing. I will switch on the endpoints and in the middle of the screen you will see some text and you will see the green box or crosses on the edges so I know that's a polyline I can remove that uh, using a delete line I'm not going to do it right now I'm just going to show you a different method of doing it if you then zoom in on some of this information you have to really zoom into that you can see that's a text value sitting in the middle of the screen there. Uh, I know for a fact that the drawing sits up top there, you can see there's a bit of a different in coloring there. So if you zoom in there, that's where the actual plan sits. And now I will ID everything outside of this area. So I use my CAD ID functions, do ID, area. That's just a ghost image, so I just replot it, pressing R on my keyboard. And that's the area I want to exclude, so I'll say ID everything outside. Just select all the boxes. Go to Manipulate ID and Delete. Now if I press Normal, what is left on the screen is that which I actually want. So the endpoints was really just a way for me to quickly identify bulk of my drawing to see where it's located. Now you will see that the drawing is rotated and it's also mirrored. So the next step would be to rotate it and scale it into the right position. So we would go to CAD, Global, make sure everything and all X is selected and then you say Match. Then you will use your line endpoint snap mode to say that the 100 meter line, this is it. Um, I will start with my top section which is actually the bottom of the line as drawn in, in WDCADI. I will then give that a coordinate which is 0 and 0. I will close this box because it pops up a second time so I'll cancel that. Click on line endpoint again and then click on line on the other side and give it a coordinate again. This time the X is minus 100. Now if you have the actual coordinates for those uh, points on the line you could have typed that in. I didn't so I'll just use 100 because I know the line is 100 meters long so at least the line will be north-south exactly 100 meters as it was drawn in WCADI. Now if I say move the whole drawing is rescaled and rotated the right side up and right click and close. Now I will say normal. Now I want this text box to be on the other side of the drawing so it actually should flip around the Y axis. So I'll just repeat the process. Go to CAD, global again. This time I will use mirror and I will say mirror about a line. Now the line I drew in WKD is perfectly north-south so I'll just use that same line by clicking on it and say move and then close 
and now my drawing is just replot uh, properly scaled and in the right um, proportions now I will convert these CAD lines which are three-dimensional polylines just to show that to you I'll go to CAD line info and click on any one of them and go to the coordinate editor that's 668 the elevation on that choose a different one 652 okay so I can definitely see that there's some elevation on those lines now a quick way to do this is to go CAD ID do ID and then go to layer because WDCaddy gave the CAD work some nice layers which is nice I can use contour lines that's the actual layer of those lines and if you say OK there you'll see only those lines are identified or selected we can then go to manipulate ID CAD line DTM points I don't want too many points I'll just use the 10 meter as a filter uh, just so it, it plots a point at least every 10 meters on the lines and then it has to add those points to a specific project or point surface I'll just choose point surface 1 because there's no points at the moment alright so I can display those elevations and now the next step would be to triangulate them so I'll go to triangles C search and then if I display my triangles you can see it is proper triangulation you will also see that the CAD and the contours are very similar so you can see here there's a slight difference in some places you might need to do some editing so that your CAD lines up with your um, contours or your contours lines up with your CAD actually okay but I have now finished with the initial um, process I can now switch off my triangles just to clear up the drawing switch off my elevations you can actually see the contours are followed quite nicely with the actual DTM surface contours so the CAD in that instance is not necessary so I can go to my layers pressing L on my keyboard and there's my contour CAD layers I'll switch that off just make a different layer active now what you see there is actual uh, triangulation surface modeling based on the CAD now I can go to my irrigation and add some nodes so I'll just add a few nodes just to take you through it I'll add a valve I'm in block zero so I'll just add a valve at some of these points maybe add some fittings got a few fittings here there's actually one down there, there. okay and then I'll add some piping uh, in fact let's first add the pump there's a pump down there and let's go to pipes and add our main line and that's it that's how I will bring in my CAD from any other design package now the CAD already has all the text of all the pipe diameters on it sure there's some little bit of CAD work there the CAD global functions the ID and man ID I can quickly rotate that text I don't have to redesign all these blocks but I can simulate this main line by simply giving these valves uh, pressure and a flow to do that I go to nodes edit single just click on a valve and then give it the actual pressures and flows whatever was contained in the design you can actually use the technical table that comes from WCaddy 
Um, but yeah, I can continue my design in Model Maker. Don't need to use WCaddy anymore. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.